Hello everyone, welcome back to Lana's Little Things with me, Dr. Lana, specialist gerontologist, you know how it is, talking all things, living agelessly, caregiving, entrepreneurship life, and just life, life in general. And today, I well you see, I'm in a lot of clothes, a lot of sleeves. And dressing warmly. Now, I'm in the Caribbean, so good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. Why am I in so many clothes? Well, I tend to get cold very quickly. All my friends will tell you I'm just like, like ice all the time, no matter where I am. However, this is for many caregivers and older persons because your tolerance for cold goes down. Older persons don't uh, don't just say I'm cold for no reason. You may find you, you've heard the expression uh, "old bones, cold bones." Well, it is true because there's less flesh. Really, there's a lot less muscle and tissue and all those padded layers that keep you nice and warm. So today, day one twenty six is a little bit of a health nut bit in this early part of the year in January it's still cool in most places snowing and many of you who are, who are in temperate countries and it's cold here it's cool here for me very cool so remember circulation problems exist as you get older you don't have that padding on your you know cheek che and puffy cheeks and Lots of muscle and underneath the skin layers and all that. And also, bear in mind, dehydration can also reduce that layer. So, three things to remember for today, please, as you go about your the rest of the week and think about it. So, to prevent, well, not only feeling uncomfortable, but to also just... Just to alleviate the discomfort of the poor circulation and, and so on. Caregivers, I know I'm adding to your things. And those of you who are working and have to assist, like myself, with, with family caregiving, it can be a bit. But let's just remember and bear in mind how we might be feeling. They might be feeling a bit older too. So just a little tip. Use socks day and night sometimes. Make sure to move feet. Wiggle your toes, wiggle, wiggle your fingers, move as much as you can to stay warm. Make sure you hydrate, check with your doctor on how much fluids you should be drinking. That goes to you too, family caregivers, you know, you forget to eat and drink too. Mm-hmm, you do. And entrepreneurs, you're so busy, busy, busy doing everything, you forget to eat and drink too. Mm-hmm, just don't. So, socks, day and night sometimes. Hydration. Dress warmly and even sometimes have a, a hood in the house. Sometimes you may need to have a hooded cap to go over the ears because the ears can also get quite cold. So from my heart to yours, stay warm, stay dry. <laughs> Wet skin is cold skin. So just a warm, just sending warmth tonight for me. Sending warmth from my heart to yours. Stay warm, stay healthy. Stay dry. Take care and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.